What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 predictions. Notre Dame is up next. The Fighting Irish uh, coming off of a disappointing season last year and it was really an up and down season. Had some big wins, had some tough losses. What do we expect in 2023? Uh, well, I, I'm not sure what to expect. This is a tough team to predict. You add Sam Hartman at quarterback, which is going to be really interesting to see how, how all that plays out. I'll give you my thoughts on that in just a second. Let's look at some of the other predict predictions. Uh, the FBI has them at 9.1 and 2.9. So really 9-3 and three is the record there. Athlon has them at 9-3. and three. The over-under is at 8.5. I was actually surprised by that number. I thought that maybe it would be at 9 or even 9.5. For me personally, when I'm looking at, at the record prediction for Notre Dame, uh, I'm closer to nine and three or ten and two than I am eight and four or nine and three, um, but the schedule's pretty tough. There are some tricky games on the schedule, uh, but yeah, we'll come up, going back to this team. You look at the defense; I think they're going to be really good on that side of the ball. Offensive line looks really good. Run game looks re to be really good. And you bring Sam Hartman in. Is he going to to give this passing attack something that they've been missing? I'm not convinced. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, a couple of things that worry me a little bit about him potentially not making a huge difference if you look at other quarterbacks at wake forest under dave clausen they've all been really successful they've all put up very similar numbers to sam hartman um, is he that good or is it just the offense that he's in there at wake forest that's a real question for me and then you look at notre dame uh, they don't have that type of offense and it, even if he does turn out to be really good is the offense and, and just the scheme going to be good enough for to take advantage of his skills and for them to improve the passing game? I just don't know. I just don't know. I think that um, it's, it's probably going to wind up being somewhere in the middle. If you're expecting Notre Dame to have just this great passing attack and, and they're going to throw for 300 plus yards a game, I don't think that's going to happen. But if you think they're going to be the same type of, of passing attack they've been in the past, I don't think that's going to happen either. I do think that you're going to see some improvement. So I do think it'll be kind of in the middle. We'll see. I'm really intrigued by that. Uh, Michael Mayer is gone. You, you have to wonder about the pass catchers around Sam Hartman. Uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting, interesting to see because I think this team has the talent to be a really, really good team this year. And like I said, I think the defense is going to be really good and the, the run game for them, really no doubts about that. But this is the schedule. And you see there are some tricky games. You've got NC State on the road. Duke on the road, Louisville on the road. Those three games are all tricky. Those are not going to be teams that maybe can match Notre Dame in talent, but they're they're good teams. Those are good veteran teams. Um, you've got Ohio State and USC, obviously. At least those games are at home. And then you have Clemson on the road. Uh, Pittsburgh could be a little bit tricky. Wake Forest, how about that? Going up against Sam Hartman's old team. So a really interesting schedule here. Um, I think they get off to a good start. They've got the week zero game with Navy, and then they get Tennessee State. Uh, so no reason to think they're not going to start 2-0. So I think they do start 2-0. Then you go against NC State on the road. This is one I definitely, I think I think a lot of people have circled this one as a potential upset game for Notre Dame. Um, it's a tough place to play. You look at this NC State team, they're always well coached. But I'm just looking at the personnel for NC State this year, and, and I think they're going to have a little bit of a drop-off. I think they're going to struggle to stop the run game for Notre Dame. Uh, they lose a couple of really good linebackers. So I think Notre Dame, this is a pretty good matchup for them. I think they will take advantage of that. Uh, they'll run the ball. They'll they'll kind of quiet that crowd down early. And I've, I've got them beating NC State on the road and then also beating Central Michigan. So I've got this team starting 4-0 and before the big game against Ohio State. Uh, we already did our Ohio State video, so I talked a little bit about this game there. Um, again, I just think Ohio State is the superior team. I, I think playing at Notre Dame definitely gives them a chance. I think the pass rush for Ohio State might be the difference or one of the differences in this game. Um, I think it'll be similar to last year's game, lower scoring. Um, but again, I think the, the defense for Ohio State will make some plays and they'll find a way to win a very close game. If Sam Hartman goes out there and has a big game, you know, that's another thing is, is these receivers for Notre Dame, can they win against the Ohio State defensive backs? If there's a weakness on this Ohio State defense, it is their secondary. But I don't know that, you know, the wide receiver position is not really a strength for Notre Dame. So maybe they can't take advantage of that. And again, the pass rush for Ohio State is going to be really, really good this year. So I think the Buckeyes win a close one. And Notre Dame drops to 4-1. and one. 
Then you've got Duke, a veteran team. How does Notre Dame respond after a tough loss? They go on the road. Uh, I think this will be a really tough game for Notre Dame. I think it'll be a hard-fought four-quarter game. But I think the talent level of Notre Dame, uh, I think they'll win at the line of scrimmage, and they'll they'll win. But it'll be tough. I think, again, this is a good Duke team. I've had them in my top 25 at times this, this offseason. Uh, so I think this will not be an easy win for Notre Dame. But I think they find a way to gut it out. The veteran Sam Hartman at quarterback makes a play late, and Notre Dame wins. All right, next we've got Louisville on the road, October 7th. Another really tough matchup here. Uh, Louisville's going to be good. They've added a ton of transfers. It's going to be a completely new-look team. And this one is one that I could definitely see Notre Dame losing as well. I think Duke and, and Louisville, I think one of those games could definitely trip them up. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Notre Dame. I think that that they, again, from an uh, overall talent level, have an advantage and I think Sam Hartman gives them enough to win this this type of game. Maybe this is a game they wouldn't win without Sam Hartman, but I think they do win it. They beat Louisville. Then you've got USC on October the 14th. Big time game here. Uh, talked about this on my USC prediction video. I think the defense for Notre Dame is going to be good enough to make enough stops. Uh, and I think they're going to have a like I said in that video, they're going to be able to to run the ball pretty well against this USC USC defense, control the clock, keep Caleb Williams on the sidelines, and again, the defense makes enough plays. Home field advantage helps as well, and Notre Dame wins a very close game. So I think they they really find some ways to win some very close games there with Duke, Louisville, and USC. I would not be surprised if they lost one of those three. But then you flip around to Pittsburgh. They get a bye week after a big win. Perfect time for a bye week. Playing back at home. I think they, they come out really focused. This is a Pitt team uh, that's going to be kind of similar to Notre Dame. But Notre Dame is the better version of that. I think Notre Dame wins it uh, by a couple of scores. They go to 7-1. and one. Then it's Clemson on the road November 4th. Revenge game for Clemson on the road. It's one of the toughest places to play in college football, obviously. Uh, this is going to be a really fun matchup. Uh, if you expect the same result as what we got last year, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Clemson, uh, Cade Club Nick will play really well. They'll take care of the football playing at home. The defense will make some big plays. I think the defense for Clemson probably is the difference here. Um, I think Notre Dame is going to struggle to score. And I think Clemson wins it. So I've got Notre Dame losing their second game there on November 4th. Wake Forest on the 18th. Again, Sam Hartman playing his old team. If you went, if this game was at Wake Forest, that could be really interesting. But playing at home, I think Notre Dame bounces back. They play really well, and they take care of Wake Forest. They also get a, another bye week here before this game. So they have two, two bye weeks kind of late in the season because they play week zero. Uh, Stanford on the 25th on the road. I, I've said it before. I just don't think Stanford's going to be very good. I think Notre Dame wins big. This game really not close at all, and I've got the Irish finishing 10-2. and two. So I'm a little higher than the other predictions. Again, the, the consist consensus seemed to be that this team was going to be 9-3 and three, um, or maybe even 8-4, and four. Uh, but I think they're going to be 10-2. and two. I could see 9-3, and three, though. I mean, when you look at Ohio State, Duke, Louisville, USC, Clemson, maybe even throw Pittsburgh and NC State in there, those seven games are all going to be challenges. And going four and three in those games would still be pretty solid. So I could see how you could get to nine and three. But I think there's a chance they beat Ohio State. And that's a big reason why I've got them at 10 and two. Uh, I'm trying to, to, to cover just in case they do beat Ohio State. Then I think they probably lose to Duke or Louisville on the road. Um, so again, it's, it's all about the record. When I do my predictions, I, I get the record for each team and then fill in the games for the most likely scenario uh, to get to that record. But 10 and two for me, nine and three potentially. If they lose to Ohio State, then lose maybe to Duke or Louisville on the road or even to USC. But I think they're going to have a really good season. I think Sam Hartman, again, gives them enough to improve in the passing game. Not enough to be a playoff team, but enough to have a really good season and finish 10-2. Your predictions on Notre Dame, let me know what you think down in the comments below.